In this video, we will be studying about the limitations of real GDP as an indicator of economic welfare. See, we all know that your GDP is an index of welfare of a people, which means your increase in GDP, increase in the level of goods and services, and if there is increase in the level of goods and services, there is increase in the level of income, and if there is increase in the level of income, there is increase in the level of welfare. But there are certain limitations that your GDP do not reflect the original picture. Why, that's, why is it so? So first comes is your many goods and services contributing Economic welfare not included in GDP, which is your non monetary exchanges. See, there are many goods and services which are left out from the estimation of national income on account of practical estimation difficulties, etc. Like the services of the housewife, you cannot, uh, you know, uh, write it in the monetary terms. You cannot convert the services of a housewife into the monetary terms. So, you do not take these non-monetary exchanges into the GDP. So, these are also somewhere helping to the welfare of the economy. But this are, these are not included while calculating the national income or while calculating your gross domestic product. So this is the limitation. Number second is externalities not taken into account in GDP. But affects welfare. See, when you give, uh, when you, when we have a unilateral payment, that is the transfer payments. You get gifts, grants, aids. These are the transfer payments. You cannot, uh, you do not take this into consideration when you calculate your national income or your GDP. But these are somehow helping in the welfare of the economy. So this is the uh, sec second limitation of the GDP indicator. Change in distribution of income may affect welfare. See, if with every increase in the level of GDP, distribution of GDP is getting more unequal, then the, there is no welfare of the society. Means, the society's welfare is when there is equalized income in the economy. But with the increase in the GDP, the distribution of income is increasing more. That is, rich are becoming more richer and poor are becoming more poorer. Then in that case, this is not the actual sign of the welfare in the society. Fourth is your all products may not contribute equal, equally to economic welfare. That is the composition of GDP. You can also call it as composition of GDP. GDP includes different types of products like your food articles, houses, clothes, uh, police services, military services, etc. Some of these produ uh, products contribute more to the welfare of the people like your milk, your food, clothing, shelter, necessities. Other products uh, no, do not comparatively contribute 
equal or comparatively contribute less and affects the standard of living of people. So in this way all products may not contribute equal. Different products may contribute different. The fifth we have is contribution of some products may be negative. What does this mean? That see in your GDP while calculating your GDP, you are considering all the goods and services that are produced in the economy at the current market prices, right? See when you produce liquor or some health hazards products, liquor is contributing to the GDP because it is being produced, it is being sold. So this is contributing to the GDP, but this is not doing an economic welfare because this is not good for the health of people. So this is not doing an economic welfare to the people. So these are the some limitations of your real GDP as indicator of economic value. I hope you have completely understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.